Hello, hello. Welcome to Shading Y. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a thread up DIY designer box. We have three of them here. I don't know if I'm going to get all to them, um, but I will do one video um, at a time, and so you might get tired of this outfit. So hope everybody's doing great. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. If you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn. My husband's name is Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms, and we do mainly jewelry, but we also do some history and um, information, um, repairs every now and then, not too often. Um, but if that sounds interesting, definitely subscribe below. If you see anything in this video, um, just send us an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com and we'll send you a PayPal invoice, very simple. I will show you the item and then I'll do a comparable what's online and then how much we will discount it for you as a subscriber. So that's the way we do them. Hopefully you enjoy the video. This is from, Arizona. I've already popped the tape on this. I'm not even gonna pick up the box. Let's see, we bought this on August 21st um, for $140. I don't know if this is one of those. I assume it has got um, $10 shipping and sales tax. So um, let's see what we find. Hopefully something good, something good. <laughs> All right, oh, no way. I never do the juju thing, not too often, but I don't know if it's any good, but I never got one of these before. Oh, I did. I got a wallet one time and it was trashed. So look what we found in this box. It is brown and black. Gucci does have some corner issues. I can see right off the bat, all four corners. <laughs> yeah, all four corners. Um, and I don't know how to fix that because this is a fabric and it is like a bucket style, I guess, or a hobo bag. Let's see what it says. Gucci made in Italy, and it has two sets of numbers, like so. And there's the Gucci. The inside is like a black with the G's. The inside looks really nice. Let's see if we can show that. Maybe, maybe not. Let's get rid of the strap. No. This is another episode of Watch Marilyn Struggle with a Purse. Yeah, it looks really clean. And um, let's see if the zipper works. It has the pull. Yeah, it works fine. It has um, leather around the zipper. Um, needs some um, conditioning um, and then it has the leather strap all the on the sides also the bottom looks fine it has a little schmutz on it but other than that just needs some conditioning so um, my first Gucci bag so tell me what you think I don't know what to do about these corners well, I was talking to our good friend, um, Janet, with Happy Hour Haulers. If you haven't subscribed to her channel or checked her and Brent out at Happy Hour Haulers, definitely go over and do that. They are so knowledgeable about handbags and um, they have a such a humorous way of doing their channel. They are fabulous. So go over and check them out. But talking to her about this bag she sent me these photos from um rago brothers i think that's how you say it and um it is a leather 
repair company and you can send your bags, shoes, accessories to them and they will repair them. Are they cheap? Uh, no, but they're fabulous. You should see the photos that they do. Um, but this is a really good idea um, here. So this is what ours looks like on the corners and that they put a little leather like um, over it. So that's a really cool look, I think. Um, you could do that on any bag and that would really do away with those corner issues. But it is, um, here's the company, Rago Brothers, and they have this really cool um, mail-in repair. You just fill out a form and send it to them. They'll just send you back an estimate and then you send it to them. So, uh, but some of the, what they can do with bags is just amazing. If you look at their gallery, um, it's just not only does it give you great ideas, but like completely um, rehabbing bags and shoes and um, just making things new again and, or maybe not new, but close to it. So for this bag, it is this is the bag that we have. It is on Poshmark right now. It is $350. And um, since ours needs those repairs, I'm going to offer it to subscribers for $160. Um, but a fabulous bag just needs a little love um, or you can leave it the way it is. I have tons of bags that have corner wear. I just wear them and use them and enjoy them. So, I'm happy that this was my first Gucci bag that I actually got in a thread up box. I've gotten wallets and things like that, um, but um, this is pretty fabulous. So you either like a Gucci bag or you don't, I guess. Um, but beautiful, um, for sure. Okay, and that is all for today. No, I'm kidding. Let's see what else we have. All right. I have no idea what this is. Okay, looks like we have a sweatshirt with lace. It is by Red Valentino. Okay, uh, this is my first Valentino piece. So um, this is interesting. It is a sweatshirt with lace this is completely open so you can see down around here and then um, it goes into a sweatshirt it has um, lace caps regular um, sweatshirt um, the outside looks like a regular sweatshirt on the inside it's lace black lace very cool. And then it has um, also on the front ruffles. Um, so that is really pretty, actually. I don't know anything about Valentino because this is my first one. It does have pockets and a zipper. So let's see if it gives us a size. Um, the zipper says... O-P-T-I, I'm not familiar with that either. Um, it says Valentino, 56% cotton, 44% polyester. Size medium, okay. Um, so that's kind of cool. I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. Um, I'm not seeing any torn lace yet, but you know, you, you get more into it um, when you're listing it, but that is a really interesting piece. I didn't see very many of these available. Actually, I only saw this one, <laughs> but I think Red Valentino actually does not go for this amount. I think they might um, be giving it um, some value because it is the only one that, um, 
is exactly like this. But Red Valentino goes around $100, maybe a little less it looks like. This one is really cool. Um, as I showed you, it does have the lace here with the tuxedo lace on it. Um, and it's just a really cool looking piece. Um, regular sweatshirt, you know, with the pockets and everything with a hood. Uh, I think I'm gonna list mine at um, 100 and um, offer it to you guys for 60. But this is a really cool one. So, um, I'm not upset with this box at all yet. So, let's see what else we buy. Uh, a wadded up shirt in the corner that happens to be Burberry London, size four, made in Italy. Very small. Um, I'm going to say that's a lavender with um, tortoise shell, faux tortoise shell buttons. Looks like they're all here. It does have the um, check on the back, Nova check. I, I remembered, I did a video not uh, 10 minutes ago and could not remember what the Burberry check was called. So yay, I remembered. Um, it is short sleeves with a button. Isn't that cute? Very um, tailored. And then it has two front pockets. And the um, buttons do not go all the way down. It's like uh, three quarter um, sleeves. And each side has a zipper. Um, a little... tiny like vent so in case you need more room in your hips on each side and it says 100% cotton Burberry London um very good condition it's a very pretty the color is just gorgeous I know it kind of is coming through as pink but it's definitely a lavender Okay, our shirt is very, very unique. I could not find one like it that has the um, three-quarter um, buttons and with the zippers on the side. Um, I did find plenty of fitted ones um, with the check and then the Nova check behind the um, collar. Um, so... I'm using this one as an example, but ours is extremely cool um, and unique. And if somebody is interested in that, let me know and I can give you um, exact measurements because it is a very fitted shirt um, or blouse, whatever you want to call it, but it is beautiful in excellent, excellent condition. So this one is listing for 165 and it is also the Burberry London. And um, I'm going to list this one at 150. Um, and if anybody's interested, I will do 95. And if you need measurements, just let me know. Um, but Pete, they do sell well because people love Burberry. Okay, it looks like, oh. Uh, mm -mm, this is not going to float. Um, I generally don't complain, but, um, this should not be in here. Um, I do know somebody else got a Swarovski in their designer and they did complain about it and, um, they did refund their money. Yeah, this is, um, new on card, um, necklace okay here is the Swarovski crystal necklace no I have not called and said anything to um thread up I have to say I'm just not one of those people who complain <laughs> and it's like I did look it up it was originally $129 um it's pretty much selling right at the $50 mark so I am happy to recoup my um, 
uh, cost. So I would probably also list this at $59. And if somebody's interested, I will do 30. It is a beautiful um, piece and it is new in the box. It would be a wonderful gift. So if anybody is interested, I'll do $30 to subscribers and um, just be thankful we got an item that didn't need repairs. <laughs> Okay, we have shoes left. Um, how, how cute. Our first pair is a pair of Burberry espadrilles. And yes, I will list these um, this time of year. These are size 36, made in Italy, Burberry. They are patent leather black with a um, wrap ankle. And then the, um, this is like a vinyl, uh, the Novacek. Um, on the, I mean, these don't look like anybody used them too much, but it does look like there's some smuts or glue here on the edges. So I'm going to try um, some Gooby Gone and see if that helps with that. But that one's in good shape. Yeah, same thing on this one. Looks like really good condition. I mean, besides being a small size, 36 is really small, um, but they are adorably cute. So um, I'll clean those up and get those listed. Here is the Burberry leather plaid print espadrilles. Um, I didn't know it was leather. They are leather um, and jute. This is the real real. These have sold already. These um, were $85 and sold at a 10% off for $76.50. Theirs was a size 7 or 37. Ours is a 36, a 6. Um, it does have the Novacek um, and everything ours does. Ours does not have the dust bag where it says that that one does. And I will list these probably at the $86.00. But if somebody's interested, I will do 50. These are so cute. We have two more pairs of shoes. Um, here's the shoes. Um, they are suede, black suede, and they are Uh, the first word's gone. Garcia, Pedro Garcia, Garcia, Pedro Garcia. Um, I've never gotten these, so this is a new brand to me. It's a Velcro. Can you say Velcro on YouTube? I'm not sure. I know you can't do it on eBay, <laughs> but these are cool. Ankle strap, good condition, I think. They have a seam in the bag. Uh, Crisscross toe. These are in really good condition. Uh, we just have to find a size. All right, I don't see a size on that one. I love these bottoms. I love when they have the name on the bottom like that. I think we have another really small size. Um, I'm going to guess around a six, and I don't see a size anywhere, so I'm going to have to measure these. Um, but these are in super good condition. There's a little bit of nicks on the suede, um, but I think if we brush that, it'll be fine. Um, but these are adorably cute. Um, so the... Burberries are six, uh, 36, and these are primarily the same size, maybe a half inch difference. Um, and the heel is about the same. So I think these are going to be about a six also. So those are small. Okay, we have one more pair. Let it fit me. Okay, let's see how we do. 
Juju good, juju good. Because so far in any of these, nothing fits. But these are pretty. Uh, these are red. 40s. That's what they look like. Ooh, Lanvin, et cetera, 2008. Um, these might fit me. Um, designer generally runs a smaller, and um, these say a 40, and I am a 38. I wear a size 8. Um, patent leather, red. So I'll try these on and let you know. Um, but I love these. Um, they might have been resold. It looks like it. Uh, definitely says 40 patent leather. I'm looking to see how the leather is. Patent leather, rather. They actually look really good. Oh, we have some transfer right here. And on the second one, same thing, excellent condition, beautiful red. Um, gotta love these red. Um, my fingernails are actually orange. However, on camera, they are coming out red, um, super red. <laughs> <laughs> but love these. Okay, these are my favorite. Fingers crossed, they fit me. So these are good. Okay, here they are on the real real. They were $80 and they are 10% off right now at $72. Um, I do really love these. However, um, and they fit perfect. They definitely fit a size eight. I just think I'm going to let one of you have them if you want them. I'm going to list them myself for 80 and if somebody's interested I will do 50. Uh, they're very nice. They feel great. Um, it's just currently I am have so many ballet flats um, that I really don't need another pair but if they don't sell I know I will keep them. And um, I love the red. They look fabulous. So I'll do subscriber price at 50. Uh, the Burberry shirt is good. The red Valentino is interesting. I'll have to figure out about that. The Burberry espadrilles, love espadril espadrilles all the time. This is um, a new brand to me, um, the Pedro Garcia. Um, so I'll do some research and find out um, more details, but they are really pretty. And then the last thing, which I am not hating, even though it has corner wear, um, a cool Gucci brown bag. So um, beautiful. If you know anything about it, let me know. Um, I would appreciate it because I'm a newbie with Gucci. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us and we will see you on the next one.